are you feeling that the world is super uncomfortable and it feels very unsafe and something strange is happening and I can't deny it, but I don't quite know what to do about it? Well, we are in the midst of a huge transformational shift. It's been gathering steam and happening for some time, but it's really happening now. And we are uncomfortable because the way we've been experiencing life and have been taught to experience life, which is a uh, third dimension, life happens to me and I have to just manage and protect myself from others in life. Now, that third dimension experience really has been turned up lately and it looks pretty, pretty awful, but it isn't the only experience a human can have. In fact, we are here to grow to a higher experience and to recognize we're here in earth school to learn to create. And what we're facing right now is our both personal and collective limitations. My name is Sonia Choquette. Thanks for coming to my channel. We've been talking about the great shift from the third dimension, unconscious, disempowered self to the fifth dimension, co-creator, conscious, empowered, divine healing being that humanity is being encouraged to embrace. Today we're going to talk about how I can actually move back into power at a time where that feels super challenging. Well, the first thing we need to recognize is that our physical bodies are are perceptive and they pick up energy. And right now the energy of the planet, collective energy is very uncomfortable because the old is breaking apart. Old energies are contracting and colliding and trying to pull us in. So that's a force. But simultaneously, there's a force pushing us up. So there's this push inside to not respond the old way, not to succumb to appearances and to find our power. And then there's a pull from our higher self that's trying to say, remember who you are, trust your vibes, trust your feelings, trust your intuition. And these inner senses are starting to activate. That's a lot going on. It's sort of like trying to tap dance on a riverboat in the middle of a storm in the, in the high seas. So we take it in bite sizes. The first thing you want to do is get back to your body and recognize like if I'm really feeling in overwhelm and can't sleep and wake up and feel anxious or troubled, first thing to do is put a hand on the heart, one on the belly and breathe. Just breathe. Just breathe with eyes open, look around, and start noticing where you are right now and what is beautiful or good about where you are right now. If nothing else, that I'm breathing. Oh, that's a big start. You can count into the breath of four, hold for two, and exhale for the breath of six. When your exhale is a little longer than your inhale with a pause in between, that regulates your body and starts putting your, your conscious mind, your brain, in, into congruency with your heart. It's called coherence and your gut. So that takes a cup, that, that works, you know, do that 10 times. That'll help get you out of that panic brain or that troubled sense. That, that powerless feeling, which really is, I'm aware of what's going on, but that's not all that is going on. The next thing you want to do is to focus on where in my own personal life is something not working. Because what we're experiencing right now is our own limitations. We are being mirrored back with our own beliefs. And it feels like it's like coming at us, but it's just a mirror amplifying, amplifying what we need to learn, which is to break out of our limitations. So... It feels like, what the heck? I've been trying so hard. So if you've been struggling with illness, for example, you might all of a sudden feel worse than ever, or you might be struggling with income and money. You might trouble at work, or if you're trying to create a new home, you might be met with every single obstacle. And at the root of all this is an invitation to change a belief around your worthiness. That the, the old third dimension had us learn through life with what is called conditional love. If someone else approves of me, then I, something good can happen. We were not taught, you get to create because you are a divine being. 
You're worthy of having everything you allow yourself to imagine. So that's the first thing coming back, that how I perceive myself and what I allow myself to experience. Do I allow myself to experience that I am a creator, that I the, my only limit is my imagination? Am I allowed to experience that I can that I can do things a different way. It doesn't have to be third dimension. And I can actually create. So that's what you're meeting is your own limitation. So start thinking about and asking yourself, am I ever willing to be worthy? Because you're the one that has a key to that answer. Nobody else makes you worthy. Am I ever going to let myself feel worthy? God feels I'm worthy. The universe feels I'm worthy. You have a whole symphony of angels and guides that are ready to help you when you let your divine self kick in. That's up to you. That is that is your limitation. So it's a bit of a struggle for some of us who've had a lot of trauma get, that gets stuck. And there's a lot of ways to move trauma. You can you can hold yourself, you can rock yourself, you can let out sound like when you think, okay, my mom said when I was six that I was useless, so you can just go, ah, and that with that feeling and move that, that stuck energy out of you. Yeah, it's a little crazy, but in, in spiritual circles, we call that toning. And, you know, in every spiritual tradition, there is some form of that. There's trilling and there's toning and there's there's just letting the sound out because we get it stuck in our throat chakra. I had a, a, a client who said that he, no matter what he did, he's like, I just can't catch a break. He was really the Rodney Dangerfield type. Just can't catch a break. Just can't catch a break. And I said, that's a subconscious song. You should put that to music and sing it back to yourself because you're just keep repeating that. And, and, and the life now really is mirroring that. He went through all kinds of bad luck. My car broke down. I lost my job. I, I, I invested in some, some crypto, which turned out to be kryptonite. I mean, it's just like, I see, see, see. And I said, I see that you're really a creator, a lousy one, and that you're not using your imagination to create something wonderful, but you're really an excellent creator if I just can't catch a break. In fact, perfect. Well, with that, he laughed and said, okay, you know what? That's where you start embracing the fake it till you make it. And you know what? Just get through it because it will start to produce. You are a powerful being. If your health is a problem, I am worthy. When I was uh, a couple years ago, I ended up developing an, an issue with my feet and my legs called neuropathy. And I went to get it diagnosed because it was like, what the heck is going on with my feet, pins and needles? And the, the guy that was checking, he goes, I hate to tell you, but you have this nerve damage and it can't be repaired. And I said, like, I don't want to hear you. I said, ah, stop talking. And he just looked at me like I was some poor say, he goes, I know it's, I said, stop talking. Stop talking. All I needed from you was where to direct my, my creativity and consciousness to heal. And then I devoted myself to healing. And today, it's gone. I don't need anybody to tell me that I am limited. I can heal, but I can't heal and entertain a secondary conversation that says, you're screwed. I don't accept that. And that is what we're all living right now is what we accept. What we believe, what we accept is what we get. Now, if you're going to read the room and you're going to read energy, you're also reading through your own filters. If your filter is, I'm a victim. If your filter is, they're against me. If your filter is, I'm alone. I'm unlovable. That's what you're going to pick and choose to manifest and, and live. It's not very creative. My teacher said there's never a failure of opportunity, only colossal failure of imagination. So I want you this week to think about, well, where is my imagination failing me? Where is my sense of worthiness and understanding that I am a spiritual being, not, not catching up with the truth that I am a spiritual being? And what, what old energies just gotta go? Now, the way to do that is to be curious. Just imagine, just imagine. I wrote a book called Your Three Best Superpowers. Into imagination, intuition, meditation. 
Imagination is your superpower. And the truth is, we're not going to be able to create what we can't imagine. And our intuition isn't going to reveal to us what we don't allow. How many of you have had your intuition try to get in there, try to help you read the room or situation or relationship or opportunity, but your beliefs and your imagination was like, no, no, I can't, I can't know that. How can I be sure? How can I, how can I trust that? How can I know? That's what I hear all the time. So we are being met with what we choose. You know, my mom, when she was alive, used to say she was very metaphorical, saw everything in images, and she said, you know, life is the cup you carry. It will fill the cup you carry. There are big cups, life will fill that. If there are medium cups, life will fill that. And then there are thimbles, life will fill that. Well, I know that there's even amoeba dishes. Whatever you choose, whatever you imagine is coming back to you. And people say, I can't imagine that. Well, that's what you're getting. You can't. Can't have it, can't do it, can't be it, can't experience it. I remember when I started, um, what, when I first started writing books, I just imagined being a, being a teacher and sharing what I know and teaching people how to activate their inner sensory awareness, their intuition, their clairvoyance, their clairaudience, their higher self, their spirit. Never occurred to me that it would be a problem. It never crossed my mind that this would be a problem. I just didn't think about it. I, and nobody got in my ear that it would be. So when I wrote my first book, it miraculously, very miraculously got published through the help of my dear friend at the time, and Julia Cameron, who was my client, be became friend, and then she helped me get it published. I didn't even get an agent. It never occurred heard to me that it would be a problem. People who succeed aren't fighting their own resistance. Doesn't occur. When I got my neuropathy diagnosed two years ago, I said, no, don't put that in my head. I don't want to hear that. That's interesting. My mother was, I grew up with a mother who was deaf. She was deaf and as, a, as a child. And she said, it's the best blessing I've ever had. So I don't have to hear the crazy nonsense of everybody's limitations. I'm so grateful. I just hear the voice of my spirit and I'm connected to the divine. And you know, intuition, I was taught to listen to that inner voice by her both teaching me and by example. She didn't listen to what people said. She listened to vibration and taught me to do the same. And I have devoted my entire life to teaching you. So right now, if you are freaking out, yeah, the vibration of this world has been turned up. We can't deny it. So that numb state so many of us have been in, well, that's over. Good. That's good. And now let's start looking at, okay, I'm uncomfortable with the general vibration, but let's, let's focus on my vibration. What in my own life is really asking to shift? Am I, if I'm really stuck on, I'm, you know, I'm just not lucky at work to come on, be a creator, or I'm unlucky in love and I'm, I'm blocking those negative relationships. It's like, well, okay, well, there's positive relationships as well. If you can imagine them in my book, Your Heart's Desire, I write, you cannot create what you cannot imagine. And that's what we are facing right now, this incredible mirroring of what we are collectively and personally imagining. So this week, breathe, imagine, get a big cup, read the room, but recognize from what filter am I reading? from my filter of co-creator, fifth dimension, fully aware, or am I reading from third dimension, I'm a victim looking for evidence that that's all I can have. So that's our message for this week. I'm so grateful that you showed up. If you enjoyed it, please come back, consider giving me a thumbs up, subscribing, even sharing with your friends if you've been with me for a while. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Send you all my love. Get a big cup. 
stretch your imagination, and take off the filters so that you can read life accurately. All my love.